This is a demonstration of how to download the software needed for the 08348 language and compilers module assessed coursework. So this is done on a computer that doesn't have any of the software installed and we're going to start with one of the help texts that's been written which is available on the web pages through SharePoint for the module that says how to install MinGW which is minimal GNU for Windows and this will give us GCC compiler, Flex and Bison so we don't have to have Visual Studio, we don't have to have Unix, we don't have to have Linux it just gives us the basic thing. So the first thing it says on the instructions it is go to MinGW.org to get the installer so we can click on that and this is the home of MinGW so then we've got to find the basic stuff to download so it's here download the installer and all elsewhere on the web page is instructions and documentation so we can click on download the installer and that takes us to SourceForge where actually it really lives so now we're on the correct page and one thing to point out, you've got lots of download buttons, but don't be misled, this download is for the advert of Go Parallel, this download is for the advert for this one, what you want is this download for the SourceForge installer. So this is a reminder how easy it is to get malware on your computer by not reading the screen and pressing the wrong download button to bury it on freeware pages. Okay, now we've got it downloaded twice because I was impatient. But now we can open one. Let me download it and start it installing. Right now we're running the program that we download which is the installation manager so we click there there's a few options can you install it for the current user all users various things like that and whether we want it on the desktop and we click the button that goes through all the packages that we've asked for okay now it's running and we can select from here the packages that we want to install and notice we can actually install the ADA compiler we can store things for the Fortran compiler install the Fortran manual and all these might be useful for the taught part of the languages and compilers module and uh, we get C++ as well and we can get Objective-C for compiling for Apple devices or iPhones and so on. So I could have got that by selecting all packages. And so it's going to install the extra packages from the new GW site. Now we're going to install the packages for Flex and Bison, which we download using the links on the page here. So we click on Flex, get to the page for Flex, click Download Complete Package. It's on SourceForge. Once it's downloaded, we can open it. Remember at this point 
it said in the instructions there must not be a space in the install path so you have to put it something like that with no spaces in it then you can install everything Sources and install, and it's done. Then we can go back and install Bison, download the complete packages. Again, remember to remove the space. The file, the directory name, before you install, install everything. Now we can go back to there. So then you need of this flex library. Now some people forget that step because it's not done automatically and we're back within this Unix utils package that we could have got if we got the whole thing. We could just look at the files, download the latest version of Unix utils So here is the lib fl file. Right, so it says copy that. As it said in these instructions, and we copy it to min gw. environment path. So to update the environment path we need to download it uh, from download.com and what we get is a zip file just containing the program which we have to manually copy to a folder we create in the appropriate directory like program files doesn't come with an installer. If you know Windows well, you know how to do this, but I'll quickly show you. So I create a folder and in the right place, and then paste them into that folder like so. Here, zip file. Just paste them in the new folder that I've made called Redmond Path. Hit Program Files, and then what I need to do is, if I want to execute them from the Start button, is I'm going to have to put something on the Start menu, which I'm just going to do shortly. Here we are on the start menu button on our 
do select open on, uh, on a folder in the tree and just go to programs and then I can make a new folder under programs called Redmond Path using new folder and then once I've renamed that Redmond Path then I can go into that folder and insert two shortcuts to the documents that I just placed in program files. I'm doing it in a sort of long-winded way so you can see. Just copy the location of the folder they are, paste it in there. Select the program. And then I just give it the name. And I can then do the same and make a new shortcut for documentation. that done so I can now go to the start button and, and under programs I've got a folder called Red and Path that I can just on the program and then the program will execute oh first that's the documentation and then I can execute the program and uh, we can start adding a path. A directory to add to the search path. compilers module uh, you've got it running on your computer and you should be ready to start doing the lab and coursework I hope you found that useful <laughs>